Well, I've got this to say to those people. When I'm walking down the street and a white boy offends that I haven't, he's picking on me as an African, but it's me as an individual that in luck up. It's me as an individual in my fling licks part. So don't tell me about us picking up on one individual for this crime is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. When you eat your breakfast, you don't you take it one spoon at a time, don't you? Yeah, right. So essentially, essentially, I had I, I'm realizing I've been told time up, and I'm here to give a solidarity message with the nation of Islam from the Global African Congress. Mm -hmm. We consider it offensive yes. that anybody can tell us that we can't congregate with our family. Yes. Sure. Especially when our family is somebody of the caliber yes. that has brought reparations onto the global stage in an indisputable way. Mm. We consider it offensive. Yes. We also consider it an offense that any idiot who is an African should consider that there is anything confusing about this. We consider that, in terms of policy, every local authority in the UK should have a policy that applies itself to the experiences of Africans under the Mahanga Mizi. We consider it gross negligence for any African to be working in any statutory authority in the UK and not address the issue of Africans disparity of experience and marginalization. There should be policies in the UK that apply to Africans in the UK and we consider that the Minister Louis Farrakhan has some of the power and kudos to make sure that these agencies deliver on that. The fear of Lambeth Council with regard to an event and the Minister Louis Farrakhan speaking at that event is an indicator that these people do not want us to be imprinted in policy. They don't want our names to be in policy around the distribution of resources because policy is about resources. When a local agency or statutory agency has a policy, that's about the distribution of resources. And what they're saying is they do not want Africans to have any resources. So the offence the offence that we've experienced in the Minister Louis Farrakhan not being allowed to speak is an offence against Africans. It's a crime against humanity. It's saying that not only are we not supposed to speak, but we're not supposed to have any resources. And I'm saying no to that. The Global African Congress says no to that. And we should be collectively making those people held to account. and thank you for hearing our words. We're going to continue our programme. We do have our student regional minister, Brother Minister Abdul Hakim Muhammad. So please welcome him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This student minister, Abdul Hakim Muhammad. Yes, sir. First, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful, we give Allah thanks, we give him praise for his goodness. We thank him for his tremendous blessings to us as human beings and the human family as a whole. We thank him for all of his numerous messengers and prophets that he has sent to us. Most notably, we thank him for Moses, and the Torah, we thank him for Jesus and the Gospel, and we thank him for Prophet Muhammad and the Holy Quran, and pray Allah's God, Allah God's peace and blessings are upon these worthy servants of his. But as a descendant of the transatlantic slave trade, and a representative of a family who survived that horrific Holocaust, never could I thank Almighty God Allah enough for his personal intervention in our affairs, fulfilling what was written for him, that after we would fulfill our 400 years in bondage, that he would come personally. He wouldn't send a messenger. 
because it would be the end of messengers. He wouldn't send a prophet because the time of prophets would have ended. But he would come himself seeking to save that people that was destroyed. So we thank him for visiting with us and coming in the person of Master W. Faruk Muhammad, the great Mahdi, and for sifting through the wreckage of, the tr of that which was left by in the, in the wake of the transatlantic slave trade and finding a humble man, finding a man whose love for us as black people was so great that regardless to the opposition that Caucasian governments would levy against him and regardless to the hatred we might express against him as his own people, he would not buckle because his love would transcend Go ahead. any hate Go ahead, and prove that love is more powerful than hate. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. We thank Allah for the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and his wise choice. But when he came among us, he, didn't just, he wasn't just looking for one person. He chose two. And the second one he chose is the man who this wicked government and governments around the planet Fear yes, sir. more yeah. than yeah. anything yeah. on the planet. Yes, sir. The Honorable yeah. Minister yeah. Louis Farrakhan. Absolutely. It gives me pleasure to greet you this afternoon in the greeting words of peace in the Arabic language of Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sir. Which means peace be unto you. How is everybody? Fine, thank you, sir. Good. I'm laboring with a terrible headache, mm -hmm. uh, which I had back Good in the day. I used to smoke a bit of weed back in the day. <laughs> so yesterday I was exposed to some of that weed again. <laughs> uh, because I haven't smoked it for 30 odd years, it had a, a, a reaction on me. How is everybody? Fine, thank you, sir. Good, good, good. Well, just to say, uh, brothers and sisters, first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support over the last couple of weeks. Because... You know, we have been blessed to produce a man that white people fear. That's yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. We have produced Amen. a man who is alive mm. that they fear. Mm. They have always invested in us looking back. That's yes. right. To leaders whose physical body has mm. returned to the earth. It's true. They have invested yes, in sir. the fact that we believe we could draw sufficient modern day contemporary mm. power from our leaders mm. whose body has gone back. To it's the true. Earth. It's White true. people do not worship any of their physically dead leaders. No, sir. They replace them with those who have the spirit of the ones who once live. Yes, sir. This is the reason why we reproduce and procreate. Yes, sir. We reproduce and procreate to refine that which is. Mm. Which mm -hmm. was, yes, sir. so that which was, that which was, and that which is, mm. is being made better yes, through the process of progress. Beautiful, brother. It's being refined. So if you love Garvey, and we all do, yes, sir. We have to be looking for Garvey in the whirlwind. Yes, sir. Because now we're in Go the world. Go ahead. Go ahead. But Garvey cannot die. Cannot die. Garvey cannot die, but the question is, Good. how much do you love him? Go ahead. How much do you know of his spirit? Go ahead. Because if you love him and you know of his spirit, you would recognize he's alive in the Honorable Minister Lewis. Go ahead, Father. brother. Today. Go ahead. That's the truth. Today. That's the truth. The spirit has just taken another form. That's yeah. right. If you love Emperor, Emperor Haile Eile Selassie, mm. Selassie can't die. Mm. But the question you have to ask is, whose person is he alive in mm. today? Yes, sir. So if you really knew him back then, you would recognize him in his modern form today. In his modern form today. Don't expect me to be like I was yesterday. Come on. Don't expect me to be like I was last month. Come on. All of those leaders wisdom has been evolving. So don't expect them to be today as they were in the 40s. 
in the 50s, in the 30s. We're in 2017, as if you ever re recognize. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have to understand and realize where our leaders are. Yes, sir. Where our ancestors Says are. Yes, sir. Our ancestors wouldn't mm -hmm. fight against the enemy today the way how they fought That's against right. him for centuries. No, ago. sir. Times have changed. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You and I must change. Yes, our understanding yes, must deepen. Yes, our sir. wisdom must broaden. Yes, sir. Because our enemies are investing yes, in you, looking back for that which is among you and that which is in front of you. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Why they teach us to worship a Jesus that lived two thousand years Impossible. ago. Impossible. The Jesus who is the revolutionary Messiah was not born 2,000 years ago. The one who opened the eyes of the blind, Listen. unstopped the ears of the deaf, and loosened the tongue of those whose tongues were knotted. Mm. He's alive today. Listen up now. Listen up the now. one who would speak to the multitudes. He didn't do that back in the day. That's right. That's right. The Jesus of 2,000 years ago spoke to no more than 35 persons. Think now. Think I'm now. doing better than him today. Come on now. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. We're doing better than him today. Mm -hmm. But the one who would speak to the multitudes. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about the million man march? Come on now. Have you heard about the million family march? Come on now. Have you heard about millions more? Movement. Come on now. Have you heard about the Honorable Lewis Farrakhan? Come on now. Is he speaking to the multitudes? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. The enemies don't want him to speak at all. At all. Mm. At all, brother. What is it about a man? What is it? Good question. What is it about a man? Good question, brother. Who they don't want his words to enter into your mind. Come on. What is it about a man? <laughs> And an organization, not even an organization, a nation mm -hmm. that they want you to have a perpetual misunderstanding about. Mm -hmm. What is it? Good question, mm -hmm. brother. Good question. What is it? Mm -hmm. They know our time has come. Yes, sir, they do. But it's important, brothers and sisters, know. for you to wake up. Yes, sir. See, the reason why I'm wearing this uniform today is not to what. intimidate. Tell us why. This is the uniform God Himself clothed us in. Right. Yes. Beautiful, brother. And the symbol, our flag, is on the shoulders, yes. which means God has come to give us freedom. Justice, Justice, equality, and as the Honorable Louis Farrakhan will say, and you will hear, yes, reparations has never been in the hands of white people to give you and I for what they no, did sir. to us. White people are perfect murderers and killers. Yes, that they know how to do perfectly. Yes, sir. But to give life back to that which they have killed? Do not put that at their door. They do not have that power. And you disgrace yourself. And you disgrace the God of heaven and earth by thinking some wicked demon who lives in Buckingham Palace can restore you back to where they destroyed us. Just like they planned at the Million Man March. Yes, sir. 
They had planned, they had soldiers underneath the mall. Yes, they did. Dressed in army fatigue. Yes, they did. The president left. Washington, the Congress closed, the Senate closed, mm -hmm. because they wanted to facilitate and foment a riot. Mm -hmm. And then they wanted to maneuver the minister out of the riot and then blame him for inflaming the people mm -hmm. that we caused that, yes, destroying the reputation mm -hmm. of the nation of Islam. God but said, God's God. servant is wise yeah. to the Go ahead, brother. of the devil. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture says of David, sit thy down at my right hand whilst I make your enemies thy footstool. God's servant is in the world so that those who say they see may go blind. And your enemy is blind today. Yes, sir. He's mumbling and bumbling over himself. Yes, sir. So a wise general told me, Obey what they have asked, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Obey what they have asked, and you just go and stand mm -hmm. and let your Rasta family read out yes. that which they have said. You just go and stand, because yes, your silence will be more powerful by excitable people. We are not here to just excite the excitable. No, sir. We are here to win liberation for a people. And that is not done by just saying inflammatory words. Okay. That is done by following carefully the guidance of a divine messenger of God. Go ahead, a divine brother. servant of God. But look at the council. We met here last week Friday when they wanted to start their rubbish. And the community rallied. When they refused to give us the license, we went down to the council on Monday. And some of these representatives in the council and members of the police force yes, thought they could come into International House and tell us what to do. Yes, and one of them said to me something, and I had to ask him, who do you think you're talking to? Go ahead, brother. Because you ain't telling me where to go. You're not, you're not instructing me. Are you following me? And then he went outside and went and stood up. The reason why I said that is because we had a right to be there. Yes, sir. If it was the gay, lesbian, or Jewish community, they would say nothing. Yes, nothing. <laughs> the scripture says resist the devil. And, and he will flee from you. Ahead, we need to try that sometimes. That's right, we do. We need to try it out because it works. Yes, sir. The man who was making all the mischief mm -hmm. in Lambeth. Mm. A man named, what's his name? Calvin McLean. McLean. He came down and I tried to introduce myself to him to let him know I'm the one partnering with the nation, with the Rastafari community as the representative of the nation of Islam. You no, know, the man's first words to me as a so called black man, as a so called African. You're too aggressive, I can't speak. Too aggressive. What kind of mind? I told you to say that. Too aggressive. Isn't that what white people say to justify Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They're so used to castrating yeah. us yeah. that when we finally grow yeah. something that can yeah. reproduce, it's true. they want to take it off again. It's true. It's true. Are you here? Yes. Yeah. You are too aggressive. Mm -hmm. See, when black people start speaking to black people like that, mm -hmm. then we know that that black person is controlled. That's right. Yes, sir. Children. Yes, sir. We know that's right. We yes. know that. So look, within a couple of hours of being there, they made it clear. They made it clear that all objections had been withdrawn from their offices. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So we went and left and got on with our planning. We hired our screen that cost over 2000 you know, in order to, 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 to broadcast the minister's message. The minister call, office called me on the Monday and asked me, has the restrictions been, been lifted on the license? And I was able to say yes. 
Because the minister would not have made the message at that time had there been restrictions because the minister is not a lawbreaker even of Satan. That's right. That's right. He respects Satan's law whilst God still allows him to have a kingdom. That's right. Because the kingdom, Allah says in the Quran, that he gives the kingdom to whomever he pleases. And he takes it from whoever he pleases. So whilst he's in the process of taking the kingdom from Satan, we still have to obey those in authority yes, sir. over and us. And we do, and we do, sir. You hear it? Yeah. And we do. Particularly if it does not conflict with our way of life. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Obviously, freedom of speech, speech conflicts with our way of life. Absolutely. But the minister has always said that I am in England. Mm. I am there. And he is in England in the minds and hearts of every one of us who love yes. truth. Yes, sir. So we continued with our plans. And Friday night, as we went over to the park, as the setting up started, Sister Stella gave me a copy of the park agreement. And I'll abbreviate what it said. Sister read it out yesterday, but under where it states special event permit, special requirements, it stated there will be no live or recorded broadcast of a speech by Minister Farrakhan. And the event will not be addressed by any other person speaking on his behalf or the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. What is it you fear, government yeah. of the United Kingdom? Yeah. See, this is why those of you in the various organizations, you have to ask yourself the question. Go ahead. What is it about the nation that they fear that they might not necessarily fear about what you belong to? That's right. Yeah. Good question. What is it? Yeah. Mm. What is it? Good question. Yeah, so. What is it? Mm. Mm. They were constantly trying to say to the Rasta community, just ip the nation out and we're good. Mm. But our Rasta brothers and sisters said, no, we're good with them. Go ahead. We're better with them than with you. And I constantly have said to my Rasta community, I will not accept none of you telling me that I am not a Rasta. Go ahead, brother. You can say that to somebody else. That's right. The house I grew up in was a house dedicated to the culture of Rastafari. Yes, sir. Every day I had a breakfast from Bob Marley. Yes, sir. From Dennis Brown. Go ahead. From Gregory Isaac. Go ahead. From Don Carlos. Go ahead. From Barrington Lee. Go ahead. Don't tell me nothing about Rasta culture. <laughs> I know it. Yes, sir. It was my schooling. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Mm. Do not synonymize Rasta culture just with the smoking of marijuana. That's an expression. Do you understand? Yes, but sir. the principles of Rasta culture right, is the principles of my flag. Yes, sir. Freedom, justice, equality, equity. Huh? I know what it is. Just because I might not have locks on my head, mm. you don't know my heart. My locks are in my heart. Go ahead, go ahead. With the wisdom the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has given me, I have unlocked the locks of the white man's slavery on, over me. The locks, the rusty locks, have been picked. And now we're going forward. Free men and women. Yes, sir. Because the locks are a sign. Mm -mm -mm. Do you understand that when the messenger comes, mm -mm -mm. he opens the locks and opens the door to the kingdom of God. Oh, that's so right. we are one family. Yes, sir, we are. Our language is the same. same. I don't have to learn to speak Rasta language. No, sir. I know it well. Go ahead. Ja. Rasta. Right. All right. Yeah. You don't have to teach. Me that. No, sir. Because I might have known it before some of you came to consciousness. Of course. Yes, sir. We know that. But anyway, 
But anyway, <laughs> let's look past each other's uniform. Yes, sir. Yeah. And let's focus on the core. That's yes, sir. Right. Are you hearing me? Right. We have brothers and sisters all over the planet. Yes, sir. In the billions. Right. Mm -hmm. This country here in which we live is the mother the and the father of divine and law. This country, country. Okay. Has, has divided continents. Yes, sir. The Caribbean is split up into little islands because of this place. Yes, sir. Africa can't find unity because of this place. You and I are here at this time for divine purpose. It's true. God himself is the one who has decided for you and I or determined for you and I to be living at this Not to argue and fight with each other, but to recognize we have come at the end of that process of servitude and slavery. All of the ancestors that have suffered their justification of their suffering will come through us if we put our pettiness to one side. I didn't want to speak after the commander in chief. Go ahead, brother. Yes, Go ahead. So the last thing that they said is <laughs> there must be no promotion of content associated with the minister Louis Farrakhan. And the minister made it clear to me on the phone that brother, this wasn't drafted by no council. This was drafted from the highest echelons of government. And that goes all the way down to Buckingham Palace. Good job. Are you hearing me? Because yes, we're clear who owes us. Yes, Forget about Labour. Forget about conservatives. Yes, Forget about Donatus. Yes, sir. The little counselor. Yes, He's standing up, calling himself an African and going home every day to a white woman. Oh, Forget about that. We know you don't represent us. Call him up. You are the mouthpiece of white supremacy. Yes. And this is why we said tomorrow. We go to work to unseat Donatus. Yes. We go to work to reclaim the Cold Harbor Ward and put our own councillors in Lambeth County. Yes, sir. You know, hear what I'm saying. We are going door to door, knocking doors to let our brothers and sisters know over 70% of us who are eligible to vote don't vote. Mm -hmm. And this is why they can use our parks, because they're our parks, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. to tell us who we can listen to. Yeah. Imagine in this month, today is the independent, the Independence Day of Jamaica, and on the eve of it, a son of Jamaica, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, they want to say, can't speak to his people. What does that say about us? They, the minister has proved from the outside, I love you from the outside. I want to share with you what God shared with me from the outside. We're on the inside and God is beckoning us. Will you open the door on the inside for God's servant to come in? Because we're on the inside and the latch is above us. But they have traumatized us, divided right, us, that we can't right, come together right, and turn the lock, right. turn the key in the lock. Mm -hmm. Where they're busy arguing and fighting. Yeah. And the principle of us coming together as Rastafari and the Nation of Islam was to show our brothers on every council estate, every estate, you don't need to be fighting. Because they can turn to some of us and say, you are hypocrites. Because you're telling us to stop doing what we're doing and you can't even come together in unity yourself. You call yourself Pan-Africanist. You call yourselves Muslim. You call yourselves Rastas. You call yourself everything under the sun. And what you become is spiritual game. This is true. Are you hearing me? So don't tell us nothing. 
So we strengthen our hand so that we can go to the estates and tell our brothers what they need to know. We put on our uniform to show our young brothers. It's not only the wicked, murderous police that have uniform. Their uniform represents slavery, suffering, and death. This represents freedom, justice, and equality. This represents love. And we have one for every brother. See, I can say Jarastafari and mean it. I can say Ashe and mean it. All right, now. But some of your tongues are tied when it comes to Allah or Akbar. <laughs> Allah or Akbar is just an Arabic way of saying God is great. Isn't God great? Yes, sir. We are the original Arabs, not Caucasians living in the Middle East. Those are white people from Greece. We claim not just aspects of your culture. We claim, we claim everything. Those comedians fighting each other are not the true representatives of Al Islam. We are. A Muslim is one who submits his or her will to do the will of God. What's strange about that? That's where the power is. That's where the power is. So we know in 1555 it was Queen Elizabeth the first who received John Hawkins who presented to her a business plan to enslave Africans and she said to him when she read his plans that if we were to do this the wrath of God would descend upon this nation. Mm -hmm. She yeah. said it right yeah. the first time. She said it right. Yeah. It was yeah. written 4,000 yeah. years prior to her saying it. Because yeah. Allah God gave Moses a yeah, vision yeah. of the transatlantic yeah. slave yeah. trade. Yeah. But they were born and given the dilemma to determine whether or not they are going to be the vessels to, inter, to, to, to start that process, to initiate that process. She went home and slept on what he said and came back the next day and agreed to fund him going to Africa to kidnap us. Prior to him coming to Africa, his father used to go in and out of Africa and live with us as Africans. So he learned our ways. And some of you today are still allowing and letting these beasts into your homes, offering them to offering your daughters to them, allowing them to, to, to marry your sons in the name of sending your children to, to university to get an education. They go in Africans and come out Europeans. Are you hearing me? So after the father taught the sons of our culture, then the ships came in. Mm. And the first ship that went to Jesus. Africa was a ship named Jesus. Yes, Look at Jesus that. of Lubeck. Yeah. This is not the nation of Islam's history. Go to Google. Google it. Yes, sir. This is their history. So you are going to accept. Uh -huh. We were forced and faced the kidnapping ship, Jesus, and now you're still believing in the Jesus as given to you by them? Have you no sense at all? They're, what they call Christianity is a modern day slave ship to keep your mind enslaved. They first enslaved your body. And now they have our minds. This is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to Minister Farrakhan, Christianity as we've been taught it, if it was a wet rag run out, every word, every drop would spell slavery. Every drop coming from that wet rag would spell slavery. So we know Give me some tissue, please. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth, the first, funded the transatlantic slave trade. And she was so pleased 
with the efforts of Mr. Hawkins, she knighted him and gave him Sir John Hawkins. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Do you remember his cousin? The cousin of John Hawkins? His name originally was Francis Drake. They sailed to his ship and knighted him on his ship for being a slave trader. Mm -mm. Because of his ability to capture and kill our ancestors, he was knighted Sir John, Sir Francis Drake. Isn't that your history? Isn't that the history? Well, if you, if you calculate the 400 years we were to be in bondage, if it started in 1555, 400 years hence forth mm. brings us to 1955. Come on, yes, sir. Come on, where God promised us come on, he would come among us mm -hmm. and their time of servitude over us would be fully over. Yes, sir. Every black leader we had and representative done good. Yes, sir. They brought us to a certain point. Mm. But when God steps into the arena, mm. you can't destroy that man's work. You can't. Are you hearing me? They have destroyed the work of all of our leaders. But the one man's work they have not been able to destroy is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He has given birth to one who is driving them mad Complete. today. Complete. The Honorable Minister of 1555 is the exact year that Minister Farrakhan came Same. into the nation yes, of Islam. 19 years old. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 1955. And he was to be the man mm. that would emerge in this time to cause them to face what they have done yes, to sir. us. Yes, sir. And give them an opportunity mm -hmm. to do the right thing. Do, right by do justice. Mm. But they refuse, they refuse. They have to do justice. Mm -mm. Isn't that unbelievable? Unbelievable. Minister. So just before we introduce the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, you know, the minister told me not to speak yesterday. Yes, sir. And he told me that they had planned evil. And the rain yesterday was designed to thwart their plans yeah, right. and to cause certain people yeah. to stay away yeah. who may have inflamed the situation oh, yes, playing into their oh, that's right so some of you yeah. might have saw it as a washout no washout with god no sir only the web is only used to advance the program of god Go ahead, brother. this is why when the minister was scheduled to speak sun came out That's right. and the skies were perfectly blue why because as my rasta brothers would say the babylon was all around for four years three years there's never been police standing inside that park but yesterday you saw them firm hands why were they there why were they there what were they trying to achieve? Mm -hmm. Why did they the come inside the perimeter? The the Why did they send some of the biggest ones they had? Mm -hmm. yes, come on. What's the reason come on. behind mm -hmm. it? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Did they want us to descend into violence yes. so that they can destroy our reputation? Yes, yes sir. But when we submit to a wise servant of God, God. We can fly over their foolish plans That's right. and live to tell the tale another day. Yes, sir. Huh? Because it says that the escape route is a narrow route. Mm. It's a straight route, but it's narrow. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And the only way we can get through is if we learn to respect divine guided servants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So me standing there was more effective than me speaking. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing? Good job. Much you have more a master teacher, brother. Let me say, come on now. Because as leader in Bandaka said, I will speak for the nation. Yeah. And as brother Glenn Roy Watson stood up and spoke for the nation. As everybody you came forward spoke on our behalf. Because we have friends. We have allies. Yes, right. We have comrades. Yes, sir. We are one family. One family. Yes, and I just want to say, just for the record, as brother Abu Akil made mention, the first reparations march started here. That's right. It was our illustrious brother, Gabriel, who came and approached me and mentioned his desire for a reparations march. But at that time, funds were scarce. The, 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 the structure that was needed was not in place. So I opened up this building to the Rasta community. Yes, yes, You're not hearing me. Yes, and we put a plan together to call all of the groups in the UK together yes, to have a working meeting yes, where we would strategize to make sure that the first march went ahead. Mm. And I asked every organization and group to contribute 200 pounds to pay for Brixton Town Hall and all of the other things we needed. Mm. The groups came and they paid. Are you hearing yes, me? Sir. And we had a successful <laughs> march that day. Yes? yes sir. The letter was handed in. We came back to Brixton Town Hall yes, and we celebrated God's blessing on us that day to have a successful month. We had community question times here on reparations. And by God's grace, we were able to bring out the masses of our people. Mm -hmm. So the nation of Islam has always been mm -hmm. involved and always extended our resources and put our sweat labor in to ensure that whatever the black community wants, we are there to support yes, it. Are you hearing me? Of oh, good. Of oh, good. So let us, as we go forth, recognize and understand that the council has shown themselves, the government has shown themselves, and now through us, God will show himself. They have entered into a battle that they can't win. There is a scripture in the Bible of a man named Gamaliel, where Gamaliel was a wise lawyer. He was a legalist. And he advised the Sanhedrin of his time, who were the Jewish scholars of that time, that if this man poor, and Paul was the great preacher of Jesus and the master of Jesus' disciples. Mm. He wasn't a disciple. He was the master of the, the disciples. disciples. <laughs> this man, Gamaliel, said to the Sanhedrin, the Jewish scholars, if this man, Paul, is of himself, and is engaged of the work of man, mm. it will come to naught. Of course. But if he is of, of God. working and of God, Go ahead. Then, and we oppose him, Go ahead. we will find ourselves opposing God, God and in so doing, mm -mm. bring ourselves to naught. It's true. Well, UK government, you have the same dilemma today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because when you oppose the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, don't think you're opposing one man. No, sir. You are opposing God and his Christ, and you cannot win. And we are honored to stand with the man that you are trying to win. It's an honor for us. So when the brother said to me, how do you feel Come on, that you couldn't speak? Go ahead. I feel honored that God will give me an opportunity to prove that I stand with the messenger of God among us. That's I am honored that the council, the government, will see what I have to say 
as having the prospect mm -hmm. and ability of expressing a part of the minister's spirit mm -hmm. and that they will move against my mouth yes, sir. because they know they don't own my body. Yes, sir. I am honored. Go ahead. This body is sovereign property Go ahead. of Almighty Go ahead. Allah. Go ahead. That's why we wear this beautiful. Go ahead. So you can come with your foolishness. We are born for this day. And we ain't running from you, devil. We ain't running from you. We're not running from you. We will send a message to Africa and the Caribbean from England. Get up and fight for your right. Put your differences aside. Give the white man back his constitution. Come out of his common market and produce a common market for yourself. Yes, sir. Allah. 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 Let us play with that said, Allah's divine servant, Amal, the Honorable Minister Lord Farrakhan. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. So we will be taking them to court, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. And we will start court proceedings. That's and God right. willing, we will sit down with our lawyers next week. Yes. Thank you for receiving me. May Allah bless you. as <laughs> Greetings to you. I am Minister Louis Farrakhan, National Representative of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the leader and teacher and guide of the Nation of Islam in America and wherever members of the Nation of Islam are throughout the world. I greet all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, with the greeting words of peace we say it in the Arabic language, Assalamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salam, sir. What a joy to be back through this videotape to the great city of London and the great nation of the United Kingdom. It's been 15 years, they tell me, since I've been blessed to speak to you by video. But this is very, very important, the subject matter that you have chosen for me to address. I want to thank Brother Student Minister Abdul Hakim Muhammad and the laborers and members of the Nation of Islam for joining together with the Rastafarian Movement UK oh, hey. headed by Sister Stella, Sister Sheba and Sugar Dread. Thank you for the unity that you have shown to come together on such an occasion, an Africa International Day of Action. The subject matter that you desired for me to address is reparations. What does the United Kingdom and Europe owe to us? And by us, we mean the sons and daughters of Africa that are in the Caribbean or from the Caribbean, the sons and daughters of Africa from the continent of Africa, and those from Africa, the sons and daughters of Africa in European capitals. How did you get to the United Kingdom and why did you come? How did you get to the capitals of Europe? And why are you there? It is because we are the children of a former slave and colonial master 
that subjugated our ancestors to the vicious transatlantic slave trade that brought us into the Western Hemisphere. And those who remained in Africa came under the cruel tyranny of Europe in their enslavement in Africa by the British, the French, the Italians, the Germans, the Dutch, the Spanish, and the Portuguese. All of these nations have subjected us to tyranny, the loss of freedom, and they have ignored the cry of those of us in our pain for the principle of justice. What does the United Kingdom and Europe owe to those whom they formerly enslaved and colonized? Well, if the biblical law of justice is applied a life for a life. Tens of millions of us have been destroyed in the middle passage of the transatlantic slave trade. Tens of millions of us have been destroyed on the African continent. If Europe were to pay for the lives of black and brown and red and yellow people who have lost their lives under colonialism and slavery, I don't think too many Europeans, white Europeans, would be left if that law were applied. And then when you think of what Europe gained from our enslavement. When I was last in London, oh, they don't allow me to come there now, but when I was last there, what a beautiful capital city London was, London is, as the capital of the British Empire. What a beautiful city Paris is, and Amsterdam, and Berlin, and Rome, and Palermo. But all those capitals, all the stones in the streets, all the beautiful buildings that your artists and craftsmen have built, were built on the backs yes, sir. <clears throat> of those whom your ancestors enslaved and colonized. Do you think that the pendulum of justice that is swinging back and forward through time, do you think that you will have to pay for the evil that was done to so many? Of course, the Bible says, God is not a, a mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, the same shall he also reap. What will Europe reap? What will the United Kingdom reap? What will America reap for what she has done? Well, don't you think it would be wise to pay attention to the law of justice? Because in our universe, and when I say our, I mean our universe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a universe constructed on the balance 
of justice. Yes, sir. So any nation or civilization whose evil outweighs its good, it's only a matter of time before the force of justice and truth that undergirds this universe will move against that nation, that empire, that individual who exceeds the limits. That doesn't bode well for the present day world for what it has earned. What do you owe? You owe us everything. Everything. But of course, you can't pay with all your lives. You, you can't pay with the ill-gotten wealth that you have and what you've stored away for the rainy day. But you must pay. Must pay. Must pay. So reparatory justice is the cry of all of the Caribbean. It's the cry of Africa. It's the cry of Asia. It's the cry of those who are the sons and daughters of those who paid with their lives and with their slave labor and their colonial labor. So Great Britain, you know that you gained more wealth from your colonies in the Caribbean than all your other colonies in the world combined. According to what our research has taught us, that you gained four million pounds from the Caribbean to one million pounds to the rest of the world. So we're proud to walk the streets that our ancestors paid for with sweat and blood and their lives. But we've come to a point now where there's a different spirit in our young people. It's true. There was a time when the police in England were called Bobbies. Mm -mm. And the Bobbies never misused the people. They had a little stick. And with that stick, they were able to keep law and order. Not now. Go ahead. Oh, what a difference. <laughs> years make and now the police are dressed in military garb yes, with heavy weapons mm -hmm. and all kinds of means of suppression of mass risings against government authority and the abuse of authority mm. So it's a different time now. But let me say to my beloved brothers and sisters, I don't think you have a permanent home in the United Kingdom or in mm -hmm. European capital. Listen up now. No. Listen now. The plan of God is so different from your thoughts. You want to stay where you are. You want to make the governments where you are recognize what they owe you and treat you better. But they won't even apologize for the evil that they have poured upon our heads. So in Durban, South Africa, in 2001, it was very difficult for the European nations to even agree that the transatlantic slave trade was a crime against humanity. But why wasn't it a crime against humanity? Why? It is because they never saw us as human beings. As human beings. It's true. It's true. According to the Hamitic curse, which was brought on the world 
by certain rabbinical scholars. They said that we were the children of Ham, doomed to be hewers of wood and drawers of water for the Caucasian colonizers and slave masters. So since you never recognized us as human beings, then you could not do justice by us because in your mind, whatever you treated us, however you treated us, it was all right. So when you came into the Caribbean and you brought Africans to the Caribbean and you slaughtered the Indians that were already there and you mixed your blood in with the Africans and the Indians, you set up a system where we could make you rich. You took the raw materials of the Caribbean and worked us. You came and you bought up thousands of hectares of land in the Caribbean and then you took the African slaves or the peasants and you hitched us to the plow of your capitalistic ideas. So you took sugar, you took bananas, you took tobacco, you took rice, you took whatever we did or we had, and you made it make you rich and powerful. But we always wanted to be free. We always wanted to be independent. So when you granted us what you called independence, what did you leave in place? You left in place the cultural apparatus that made us willing slaves. You left your religion. You left your politics. You left your education. You left your jurisprudence in all your colonies. And you acculturated us into yourself. So the British slave masters and colonial masters made us into little Britons, little British. So we always wanted to come to London, come to England, and you allowed us to come. But those of us who had more education, what you call a tertiary education, we had nowhere in the Caribbean to practice what we were learning, so a brain drain took place. And that's why we're there in London, we're there in Paris, we're there in Rome, we're there in Europe, in Germany, in Amsterdam. But now you, you don't want us anymore. We're becoming a problem wherever we are. So now, brothers and sisters, the scripture comes into play. That in that day, every man will find refuge under his own vine and fig tree. Well, now you have skills. You've given those skills to Europe. Now you have skills. You've taken the brain power of Africa, the Caribbean, and brought it to Europe again. Now, the Caribbean is poor and marginalized. African nations are under neo-colonialism. When the French left the French uh, part of Africa that they colonized, they destroyed the ability of those that they left to use their resources to create the money that they were giving to France, to Spain, to Portugal, and to England. You destroyed the banana plantations. You destroyed the sugar plantations. You destroyed the tobacco. Yes, 
You did that so that we would not be able to take what we had to give you wealth to turn that wealth back to us. Mm. And everywhere that we could feed ourselves, you came and you destroyed that. Mm. So we're not feeding ourselves anymore no, in sir. the Caribbean. And as rich and powerful as African soil is to produce food, we're bringing food from England, food from Australia, food from Europe, mm -mm -mm. food that was plucked out of the earth before it ever was allowed to ripen. So you ripen it with gas, you treat it with colors and carcinogens, and you feed Look it to our people. Look at that. So we are dying in wholesale numbers because now there's a genocidal plan against us, brothers and sisters. We have to separate from these that are not to separate. the hands uh, of destruction and just genocidal destruction of our future. You have no more future in Great Britain. No, sir. No, because sir. Great Britain is not as great as Great Britain once Whoa. was. So if she can't produce jobs for her own unemployed, where is your future? Ah, but in the Caribbean, if you woke up to the vision of a united Caribbean, of a united Africa, not a, an Africa that still colonized, not a Caribbean that is still colonized, but a united Caribbean, a united Africa, taking control of our own resources and then turning these resources, raw materials, into products that we supply for ourselves and sell through trade and commerce to develop our own economies. You're not thinking like that, but you're going to be forced to think like Good that. God so what is the action that we should take? First of all, you have to recognize that the education that you've been given is not sufficient for you to free yourself from your former slave masters and colonial masters. You're going to have to develop an education that makes you understand the value of land, the value of the resources under your feet, the value of producing products to be sold internationally and to suffice the needs of your people. Some of you are thinking like that. But time and circumstance is going gonna, is gonna to force us, all of us, to think like that. Have you noticed the clouds of war gathering over Europe now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you noticed that America is now putting sanctions on yes, Russia? Yes, sir interfering with their energy uh, production, 38% of which oil and gas comes to Europe, only 2% of America's oil and gas comes to Europe. So uh, putting sanctions on Russia forces Europe to say to Mr. Trump, oh, I'm sorry, I, I am not going to stop trading with Russia. Hmm. What are you going to do now as the clouds of war thicken? Hmm. Germany is the strongest European country right now, but uh, soon it won't be so. We have to unite wherever we are. We have to start doing something for ourselves yes, sir. wherever we are. Yes, sir. We've got to stop allowing the enemy to increase us in more division. My color and your color. 
my little island and your little island, my little nation of, in South America or in Central America or in Africa, pitted against others, using European languages to further other. our division. Come on now. So you, you speak English, but you don't speak French. Mm. Or you speak French, but you don't speak Spanish. Or you speak Spanish, but you don't speak English. Yet, these are the colonizers that have divided us through language, through culture, True. through religion. Yes, sir. And by the way, the Catholic Church used to issue papal bulls that allowed them to come into our lands and take whatever we had and kill us if we resisted and then make us Christians so that we could be a willing tool. Mm -mm. You don't have the real Christianity, dear Christian family. You've got a man-made religion that was made by your oppressor under the name of white supremacy. True. Jesus was not a white man. So why are you worshiping him? You better wake up and wake up fast. What action should you take? Muslims unite. Stop fighting with each other over this or that. You cannot afford that. The Holy Quran says to the Muslim community, hold fast to the covenant of Allah or the right of the rope of Allah and be not disunited. Allah is calling us to unite. He said, and remember Allah's favor to you when you were enemies and he united our hearts and we became brethren. But now we are on the brink of a pit of fire because of our division, our hatred, our envy, our jealousies with each other. To my own Muslim community in the UK or wherever you are, you have to settle your differences and come together as one. I know it's difficult. Because you have all of these things that you dislike about one another. But what is more important? Isn't your life and the success of us as a people preparing a future for our children? Isn't that more important yes, yes, than sir. our petty yes, dislikes? Yes, it is. You're going to have to become economically strong where you are. And then soon you start migrating back to your islands and to your nations, bringing with you the knowledge that you have gained in Europe, the wisdom that you have gained through your years, and then unite the Caribbean because everything that the Caribbean needs to become a world power is already under your foot. Yes, the sir. only thing that's missing is a vision that will Come on. make you one yes, sir. Caribbean. Yes, sir. It's better to be the head of something. It is better for you not to think of yourself as a little nation and be the tail of nothing when in unity you could be the head of something. Yes, so I think I've, I've used up enough of uh, the time. <laughs> I'm sad. asking you in this yeah, day brother. of action, To remember this, Europe is not going to give you reparations. 
But the repair for us is already here. In the Bible, it says, I will send my messenger from before my face and he will prepare the way before me. And that messenger would have healing in his wings. Healing in his wings. What are the wings of a messenger of God? The wings of a messenger of God is knowledge. What you are suffering from is ignorance and the manipulation of our ignorance by the forces of power. It's true. You wouldn't have it's even true. had this meeting today. Why? Because somebody fears what Farrakhan is saying. It's true. What am it's I true. saying that you should be afraid it's true. of? You, uh, England, should be afraid of the wrath of God. Almighty. You should be afraid in a day and time like this, this that you have to reap what you have yes, sown. Sir. Yes, sir. Hey, tell me yes, sir. you love your children and you won't do justice by those whom your fathers oppressed and enslaved. So my beloved brothers and sisters, we must unite. We must set up an educational system that will free us from our former slave masters. You don't need their system of Jewish prudence. You need to set up a law system of your own. You can do these things. You've done it for them. Now wake up do for and seven. do it for yourself. Go ahead, minister. May Allah bless you. May Allah guide you. Thank you. May Allah strengthen you. Mm -hmm. And may you become the great people that you were born to be. But you must separate from the mind, the spirit of your former slave masters. Yes, sir. And I will close with this. The Quran says, set your face for religion. Being upright, the nature made by Allah in which he has created man. And there is no altering Allah's creation. And in another place in the Quran, it says, set your face for religion, being upright, before they come from Allah, that which cannot be averted. And on that day, they shall be separated. And the Bible comes back saying, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds. Thank you, my dear Rasta brothers and sisters, for helping to renew the minds of the people. Thank you, my dear Muslim family, for trying to renew the minds of our people. Let's do it together as best we can. And by Allah's grace, I hope one day I'll be able to come in person come on now. to see you. But if not, Go ahead. the word is sufficient. For in the beginning was the Word, go ahead, go ahead. the Word was God, That's and the right. Word was with God. And ultimately, that Word became flesh, and that flesh well, dwelled among men. Go ahead. Whatever you envision, your unity will give you power to extract something from the governments in which you live. But it will never be the justice that will come from your unity and your uniting with God in His will to do His will. Power is at your door. Grab it and make a future for yourself. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Brother for your invitation to me. Thank you, Sister Sheba, Sister Stella. And Brother Sugarberg. Thank you for all of you who attended this great gathering and international day of action. Now,
go from there and take the necessary action and move toward freedom, justice, and equality. As-salamu alaykum. Peace be unto you. When it was sent to me on Tuesday, it had four views, and by Thursday it was up to 12, <laughs> and it was only to me. So they obviously had full access to my email, yes, sir. and they were waiting for the message, and after it came through, they said they do not want that message to go out to our people. But the message was for today. Yes, sir. Because God is great. God is great. Do you want to see the Honorable Louis Farrakhan live in the United States? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we're going to be looking to you yes. to back us. Yes. You know, it's cool today and it's comfortable and we're in our seat. Yeah. To get in here, yeah. it won't be done in a chair. Yeah. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. It might not be done in the comfort of this building. Mm -hmm. yes. It's going to mean if you work, you're going to have to take time off. Yes. It's going to mean if you have resources, you may have to invest some yes. in the court. Mm -hmm. Because this will be the greatest fight that we have engaged in for a mighty long time. Mm -hmm. But yes, it sir. is the fight yes, that will free all of us, mm -hmm. unify all of us, yes. and stop the murdering of our children. Yes. Yes, sir. If we want to see an end to police brutality and deaths to our people in custody, then let's go to get the Honorable Louis Farrakhan here. What Minister Farrakhan does with young people from America, let me just show you. Young people come forward. These brothers and sisters are under 30. And you have to ask yourself, is he making a mighty product in his physical absence? I can't hear you. Yes, and right. the followers of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I know Brother Colin came forward, but he's not under first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's right. You're looking. You're looking, right? That's right. <laughs> One brother just hanging out, but hey. hey. So this is what they don't want. When we were walking yesterday, a young brother came up to us. This young brother said, C can I join? Can I join? And we did that all the time. We went on the various estates where our brothers are killing each other. Yes, sir. And when we went in these uniforms, they know that we weren't coming with no madness to them. That's right. And one of the estates, what was supposed to be the most notorious, when we went onto the estates, the young people ran away. Did you hear me say run away? Yes, they ran. Now why did they run? Come on now. Because they know that we, have, we, we represent something moral and upright. That's right. Do you understand? Because if we were representing something that was other than that, mm. they would have stayed. Mm. So in order for us to take our people's mind out of where they are, not only must we have a moral example for them, but we also have to teach them business skills. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. This is why my brothers here, come forward, my brother. Your name escapes me, but come forward. Come on, on a headache. Please. Brother come Dean, on. give him a big round of applause. in black entrepreneurship yes. and we we invited him a few months ago 
And he was sharing with us some of his plans in regards to entrepreneurship and the importance of us as black people owning where we meet and owning where we live. Now, the only reason the government could or the council could tell us that they weren't going to issue us with a license, issue us with a license, was because we were asking for use of a place that comes under their jurisdiction. Mm. They can't tell us in here we can't That's show right. the video. No, no, sir. This is why it's important, regarding what the Honorable Louis Farrakhan just said, we have to become owners. Yes, sir. No more renting, it's time Necessary. to own. And the reason why we're going to go out in front in the nation is because we've shown every black community member that we will house you in our building regardless of your faith tradition. Yes, sir. We approved that. We approved it. We have hosted Kwanzaa here. That's right, that's right. No one has hosted Ramadan Iftar for us. <laughs> but whatever your faith tradition, we invited the 12 tribes here to have a session of drumming here. Yes, sir. Because as I said, what is yours, we see ourselves as a part of it. Yes, sir. But it's important, Pan-Africanist community. It's important, Rasta community. It's important for all of us to rep, 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 what's the word? Reciprocate. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah. you need, we will open it up for you. So we're going to go after funds that can be raised to buy a building yes, sir. that we all can use yes, sir. and we all can have an office in the building. Allahu Akbar. I'm going to do that again because Come on you now. all didn't get involved in all Come on of the now. Research. Come on now. Come on Akbar. Allah Allah Akbar. Allah Descend upon yes, you, Rasta man, yes, by saying Allah yes, Akbar. No. Rasta woman, no. Pan Africanist brother, no. Pan Africanist sister, no. Come Muslim on. man, Muslim woman. No. No. Did, 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 did the wrath of God descend upon you because you said Ashe? Oh. No, sir. Because you said Ya Rastafari? No, no, sir. But don't say it weak. Come on now. Put your heart into yes, it. On, this is our collective faith. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So one more time. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Mr. Mel. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Ja Rastafari. Ja Rastafari. Asheo. Yes, sir. So when they see each other, no come on now. There's no division. There's no division. Come on. They're just speaking another language. That's right. right. Same thing. As if they're saying hello. Hello. Saying bonjour. Yes, sir. Huh? That's all I know. <laughs> we get it. Buenos <laughs> dias. Huh? Nagade. Nagade. See there. Right. See there. What? Shalafia. 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 That's Allah. Shalafia. Shalafia. That means, do I meet you in peace in Yoruba? And then you will say back, Alafia. Mua. Which means you meet me in peace. Go so ahead. even in our greetings in Yoruba, we have Allah. Allah.
we start down the road, yeah. unity. we see our unity. Come on now. Come on now. It's much greater it's than our difference. Beautiful. So anybody bringing foolishness to you, tell them to go and sit down. That's somewhere. right. Do not waste time in that kind of argument. No, sir. It's a waste of time and it reduces your energy. Yes, sir. And we can't afford to have poor energy in a time like this. Yeah. So I just want to dismiss everybody now, but without, before I do that, again, with freehold property, we have to acquire it, right? Yes. We're a people from a rich tradition. We own the African continent, right? Yes, you sir. heard what the minister said, didn't you? Yes, sir. I mentioned to Sister Stella, this year I'm going to Ethiopia. Yeah. You didn't hear what I said. I yes, sir. I'm going to Nigeria. Okay. Forget about Spain and Italy. Yes, sir. And Greece and these places. We have to go to our places. That's right. And if you've already been to the Caribbean, why keep going straight back? Do some Africa. Do some Africa. And when you're in Gambia, spend an extra day and pop over to Senegal. Yes, sir. Pop over to Ivory Coast or, or Cote mm. Is that the proper way to say it? Yeah. Yeah. Pop over. And when you're in, if you're in Jamaica, just pop over to another island. Yes, sir. If you're in Barbados, pop over to um, St. Lucia, yes, sir. St. Vincent. Yes, sir. Go and unite with your people. Yes? yes? Very important. Let's learn to speak the language of unity. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful language. Yes. And if we reciprocate, we don't be then like the slave master, colonial master, express things the way I express it or I'm going to force it out of you mm. let's not be an extension of the slave market because right. remember those of us who were colonized by the British you know you have his spirit when you want people to serve you it's true. Because the British don't serve nobody. No, sir. They have a stiff upper lip. So don't have a stiff upper lip in Pan Africanism. That's right. Don't have a stiff upper lip in Rastafari. That's right. Don't have a stiff upper lip in Islam. That's right. Where everybody's got to speak your language. No, sir. Like the British. No, sir. Or I subjugate you. No, sir. I force my way on you. No, sir. No. The British serve nobody, mm. but God's people serve each, each other. other. Yes? Yes, sir. So let's leave from here with that. And just lastly, I want to recognize our partners. First, for yesterday, the great Sugar Dread. Give him a big round of applause. who opened up for the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Give him a big round of applause. Stand up, Brother Glenn Roy. Come on, you're too funny. We want to thank Brother Mika Abu. Give him a big round of applause. Brother Mika Thank our sister. Sister, what's your name? By any means necessary. By any means necessary. Thank you. Sister Angie, let's thank Sister Angie, my long time friend. And, and it's beautiful that I, I've been in England with Sister and 
about reparations that we're going after these beasts mm. to get what we are owed and he will tell you about my frustration with appealing to governments my frustration is such that I know they ain't got no money mm. it's like going to their house when we know they're not there mm. my view is it wasn't just the governments who enslaved us it was families it was families and what we were planning to do and are going to get back to is going after the family see the reason why the jews were so successful is because they went after the institutions they didn't go after the governments per se they went after every individual who benefited from their holocaust we have to do the same yes sir oh, what's the man's name benedict cumberbatch? cumberbatch he admitted that his family benefited from the transatlantic slave trade and still owns hectares of land in the caribbean now what's the point of you admitting and apologizing in word and you're an actor and you haven't lent your skills to building a theater in central London and a training school for young black people interested in the arts to be trained to tell our own story. Yes, and you give us a grant of 10 million a year for 10 years. Yes, That's one Batman film to him, one Superman yes. film to him, on one of his films to show you really are contrite. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Give that land your family still has back to the families that worked on the land. We have the record. Yes, if you really want to apologize. But some of us are just happy with white people saying, I'm sorry. Oh. Empty sorry. And our vibe was we're going to organize. Find where he lives in England. Yes, sir. And go outside his house. Yes, sir. And demand what he owes. Mm. If he's in theater in England, we turn up. Yes, sir. Slave master's child. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? We dog their trail one by one until they all pay what they owe. Are you hearing me? Yes, That's real reparation. Yes, and I guarantee you they'll bow their schedules and follow them, dog their trail. As Donatus, anywhere that man speaks that we find out, we will turn up and dog his trail and make sure he doesn't say anything because we will say public servant or public enemy. And we know he's a public enemy. Boasting about he was once the mayor. Who wants to be decorated by Satan with a gold chain? <laughs> Everybody all right? Yes, sir. I don't mean to be so passionate, but it's time now. That's right. And our children are running wild because we ain't giving them nothing to do of consequence. If we tell them, look, come with me to Cumberbatch's house. If we get 10 million, 1% is yours. Because this is for you. In fact, 100% is for you. You're not hearing what I'm saying. See, we're not looking for reparations to buy a house for us. It's not for us. Take yourself out the equation. Reparations is for your children. Huh? The children's children. For institutions that we can invite the best and the brightest of our people to our institution to share their skills with our babies. Yes, our greatest scholars come to our schools. Mm. Didn't the minister say we must establish our own schools? Yes, sir. Is there enough of us as parents in here who can do that? Yes, sir. We must do it. I met a young brother out here. He must be just younger than me, which is young. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. And he was saying how much he 
loves the Muslims and how much he stands with us. But he was telling me he had 20 children. Wow. Wow. Now to me, that's nothing to boast about. Because if you're a multi, 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 multi millionaire, then you can tell me about 20 children. But if you're signing on the dole, that's a problem. Are you hearing me? If you can't pay the mortgages on your so-called women's homes, then you need to go back and find one. Because women are not cheap. Are you hearing me? And if you really want to be a man, it's going to cost you some decent money. Can I hear you, sir? Yes, sir. Because I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Because if we are queens and empresses, we can't put an empress in a council flat and say, stay there and have babies for the rest of your life. That's our work. Are you hearing me? We know we can reproduce as men. We've proved that. Let us now prove we can build skill, we can build schools, hospitals, clinics, and enter into international trade and commerce and banks for our women and children. Let's prove that part. Because that part is still outstanding. Are you hear what I'm saying? And when we've got the wealth of the earth back, we can have millions of children. No? Yes, sir. But we have to now go after the wealth that's owned, owned to us. Yeah, you ready for it? Yes, sir. Uh, you don't sound ready. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let's get busy. Let's get busy. Let's buy freehold property. Yes? And we're getting ready to take this government to court. Are you with us? Any of you know lawyers and legal people? We want to meet here on Tuesday evening to plan our strategy. Okay, Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Tuesday's too long. You want to come back tomorrow? <laughs> Serious talk. Yes, sir. Because it's not the nation's fight, it's our, our fight. fight. It's whose fight? Our, our fight. fight. Do you want to see the minister here? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? Yes, sir. So whose fight is it? Our, our fight. fight. Our fight. So I'll be taking guidance from some of you who know better than me in certain areas. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. So who wants to come tomorrow? Let me see your hands. Oh, we start immediately. What time, sir? What time, sir? Seven in the evening, good? Seven is always good. Seven is always good. So let's meet tomorrow at seven. Yes? Those of you who can't come, send a representative. Go ahead. Those of you who can't come, leave your email at the door. And we'll keep you updated with the fight. And every Sunday here will be an update how the fight is going. Yes, sir. Jonathan Lewis Farrakhan said to me that he'll do part two and part three of what he shared with us based upon you. If you want him to, he will. And based upon any questions you have, based upon what he's saying, Seth, if you want further clarification, then I will relay that to the oh, honorable oh, Lewis Farrakhan. Oh, oh, oh. Yesterday, he sent you his love. He said, let everybody know how much I love them, and I send them my greetings of peace, the honorable Lewis Farrakhan. And I know Satan was listening as we were having that conversation on my phone. Of course. Are you hearing me? Yes, and as the police were watching us leave yesterday, yes, sir. Yes, sir. they knew that new black men and women are yes, going to come. Yes, sir. This is you. And these are young brothers and sisters. That's right. And we don't raise up sisters to skin teeth with no man or no other woman. That's why when they saw my sister soldiers with me yesterday, they said they look fiercer than some of the brothers. Because when you mess with the lioness, she'll put the lion to flight. Are you hearing me? You don't run with the lioness. She'll protect the kingdom, the house, until the lion gets back. Are you hearing me? So all you lionesses or goddesses, stand up and take the proper place. Because it's your time now. The day is over for our cubs to be killed and spoiled by predators. The day of the predators killing our babies are over. We must protect our 
happening today at the Chestnut Community Center between 12 and 6. Tottenham. 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 N15. All right? So those of you who can make it, please go down. I have some interviews, and then God willing, we'll be going down there to give our brothers the support that they deserve. Yes, sir. Praise be to our Lord. Praise be to our Lord. So look out for next week's edition of the Final Call. Because the whole paper will be dedicated to the injustice we have suffered this week. Nationally in England and also globally throughout the world. It will be the front cover. Look out for it. Sister Sheba. That's the voice of a black woman working. Come on, Empress working. Give thanks. You children of the most, I give thanks for coming out. Give thanks for the strength that helped I and I to endure yesterday because there was a serious, serious case of sabotage right. yeah. yes, that went down yesterday. And it was only because of the love of ones and ones yeah. and the support of our nine brothers and sisters yeah. that the day didn't turn into a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. It was a serious, serious piece of sabotage. Yeah. I want the eyes then to know that. Because Babylon tried to do it through the local authorities, and I and I pushed through and made the day happen, there was other means that were at play. Right. Ones and ones have to be mindful, as the brother said earlier, infiltrators. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. This right. is a serious thing, right? I'm letting the item know because myself, Sister Stella, Rush Sugar, Jabloon, and ones and ones, when we started the march, when we put together the petition and the declaration to hand in for the march, we were infiltrated then. When I had to put my passport, etc. into double B, double check to get clearance to hand in the declaration for two strongs afterwards 
My PC at home was down. I couldn't do nothing on it. Same with my PC at work. Nothing. When they called the engineers in to check my PC, I was actually not there that day. I was at Mayday Hospital. I have a, I have a spine problem, the ones must notice. Sometimes I walk a bit limp. Um, my structure is under pressure. But fortunately, my spirit is strong. My spirit is strong because I'm fighting the right fight. Right. Yeah. This is a righteous fight, yeah. and our ancestors are pushing yeah. me along. Yeah. Just like they are, Sister Stella, right. Rush Sugar, mm -hmm. Brother Hakim, mm -hmm. and all the righteous soldiers who are doing their part in this thing. This is serious what's happening now. Yeah. It is history being made. Yes, ma'am. It really is. Yeah. It's the awakening yeah. of the African children yeah. whose parents were taken away by force right. Right. and scattered in strange yeah. lands. It's yeah. written about. Right. Right. Because our eyes are open and we're yeah. awakening, that's why we're under pressure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Rasta people have always said repatriation. We come from Africa, we want to go back to Africa. Rastas have always, always said that from I was a girl. And because of that, Rastas have always had the hottest battle. Rastas have always been the ones that seem defiled, looked down on, discriminated against by our own. Just because we choose to look like Africans. Just because we, we choose to let our natural grow naturally how the Creator made us. Because of that, and our philosophy of going returning to Africa and embracing our African heritage, Rastas have always faced the fight. Mm -hmm. So right about now, it is good. And it is very inspiring. And it is heartwarming. And the ancestors are dancing. Right. Yeah. They really are dancing to see that their children, after all this time, Remember, they wake up. Emancipation time around this time is a very special time for I and I. Know that. Know that the 17th of August didn't come in this month for no joke. RMUK did not decide to do that first march on Emancipation Day for no joke. This is a serious time we're in, African children. For Nation of Islam and Rasta to say, listen Babylon, we don't really business what you're saying right now. We're doing it. We are doing it. I give thanks for the eyes and cheers and inspiration because it's encouraging. And I give thanks for the eyes them coming out and for the strength. Because make no joke, it's a serious fight. And we're going to get some arrows coming out yeah. dry and yeah. We then start already. The arrows have started. Yeah. My sister in here has not been able to do certain admin work that she needs to do to secure the roof over her head because she's been busy putting the Africa International Day of Action together. And then on top of that, Babylon came with this thing where we can't get our license. So she's had to put her personal safety and welfare on hold. So right about now, if she don't get some support to shore up herself, she'll be homeless. It's as simple as that. We will talk about that. The sister needs support on many levels because she's literally put her personal life on hold to make Ada happen. Me, I've been to work for five weeks, but that's the next story. <laughs> yeah? That's the next story. We all put our, our next story right. block. Mm -hmm. So right about now, the division must end. Yes, yes. yes ma'am. And we have to support each other. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Because if the island don't support her and I was out there in the front line, the arrows will shoot at us and get to it. Mm -hmm. Our backs will be exposed. Mm -hmm. And we can't afford that because we already had enough, enough, enough pressure with this thing. The thing is though, we're ready to fight it. Yes. Even Rush Sugar, he also has a, a spine problem. His structure is also under pressure. 
So we've all got certain things going on and we need help. That's the bottom line. The sabotage that I started to talk about now, very important that the item be aware of it. Yesterday, for no good reason, and which is quite traumatic for I personally, to the point where it brought me to tears. Our day was sabotaged yesterday with the gazebos. Sabotaged to the point where I and I had to end up paying out to stall holders for their damaged goods, etc. I and I, RM UK sister outlets, didn't get the chance to set up no stall to do no fundraising. But instead of making shekels yesterday, we had to find it to pay out. When everyone was in their bed getting ready to rise up for the day, Sister Stella and I was on the street looking shekels to try and stop the sabotage. It was a serious piece of sabotage and I'm hurt by it just because it was put into place by one of our own. And I'm really sad. And because I'm an, I'm an emotional person, it hurt me to the point where I had to cry. I couldn't help it. And in some ways, I felt that I shouldn't be crying, I should just stand strong, but I'm a person, I'm, I have feelings. And the fact is I was very, very, very saddened by the level of sabotage that was leveled at Ada not happening. First it came through the local authority, then it was through one of I and I, so it happened. But guess what? The day still happened. I and I had a wonderful time. The ancestors are pleased. Message went to Babylon because our brother stood there proud and diligent, and his brother stood before him, and he stood there to say, "We will not bow, and we will not be taken asunder from my brother. We will not separate us anymore." He separated us on the plantation, but he flung us on the bottom of the ship, the stinking, disease-ridden ship. You did it in a way whereby you used to put Yoruba with our next man from Cameroon so that they don't speak the same language. And every time one moved, the other one used to get hurt because the shackles were so were fixed in a way whereby every move one made, the other was hurt. And they couldn't relate to each other verbally at that point. So they were continuously fighting. So from the minute the pirates came and captured us, they've been separating us. So us children, we realize it has to end now. Yes. That's why we stood with our brother Go yesterday ahead. Ahead. and let them know that we're not scared. We're not scared because we know we have the power of the monster with us and we have the power of our ancestors yeah, with us yeah. and because right is right yeah. right is right all i'm asking yeah. the island to do is stand diligently with i and i because as the brother said we have our tactics and we're coming our nuke has said that from the beginning we're fighting for reparation on many levels mm. Did we not? Yes, yes ma'am. Did we not say it when we led the first march? Yes, yes We're did. dealing with economical sustainability, mm -hmm. education, empowerment. Mm -hmm. Where's the brother that does the um, enterprise? You see all these people? They didn't come forward for no coincidence. People like Sister Kandaki, who's been given a special job to do with the healing of her people. So we're asking each one to nurture each one. Be mindful of this fight that we're having. Give thanks again for Thank coming you. out, everyone. Thank and for you, sister. yesterday. Thank you. Your strength is needed. And we give thanks and we stand strong. One point to grasp the fire alone. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, we're going to close together, so don't leave as yet. This is just the last word from Brother Shubhagin, and we're going to close together. <coughs> Greetings. 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 Okay. Greetings. 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 Greetings.
Sister Stella, and everyone in the house. Just a very short message because, um, you know, I was really taken by the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. And, uh, and um, just a very short story. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, I gave up my job, my colonial job, to actually work for our people. Because I had done a couple of years and I learned a, a bit about capacity and a lot of different skills, which I realized that our people need that service. And I, I, I realized that it was a hard struggle, but um, as a very lucky person, I'll tell you three quick stories. As a young man uh, playing music, I went to look for one of my friend's mothers. And uh, when I went in the room, I was like, huh? It was Bob Marley. Sitting down in the room, and I, I, this was actually true. I, at the time, it wasn't nothing big, but after that, I realized, yeah, I was Bob Marley. Another another time with the sound system, we went to Bristol to play, and uh, cause it's a sound system, the driver would drive, and uh, you have the holy for soul money in the back, and uh, all of us went up there, and for some reason, the driver maybe drank, he had a little drink or whatever, and he got drunk, so we couldn't move. We had to sort of like wait around. So there was about three brothers, and we're walking up and down. Just walking up and down, saying, burning time to leave the league, sort of get sober. And we went to a gas station, and we met this lady at the gas station. We were just, you know, bantering, just, you know, keeping ourselves happy. And the lady said, she's got a little place just up the road if you want to stay for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. So um, we said, okay, we're all together. Nothing's going to happen. When we um, went with the lady, we went into this old house and she had to get a candle for us to go down the stairs. And uh, would you believe that was the same house that Emperor Hill Selassie I slept in, he lived in, or stayed in when he came to the UK. Wow. That makes me feel that I know that the mission I'm on is perfect. And today, another day, as I walked in that door, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan said, Ras Shukatre. The fact that they used our babies as bait for alligators. As bait for alligators. I don't know if everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine that. Yeah. And that alone, apart from all the atrocities perpetrated against us, that alone is that means that they are not getting away with every last drop of blood that has been shed by our ancestors. They will pay. They will pay, inshallah. As you say, my sister, inshallah is if it pleases God, but we say, mashallah, that it does please God that they pay. So, mashallah, they will pay. And they can't get away because the God of justice is on scene today. Hence the reason why, there's a reason why the Honorable Louis Farrakhan said we got to start making our way back home because this place is a preserved place and with what God has in mind. You're the one, we are the ones holding it up because we are here and increasing in number. So it's important that we start making our way home and then you will see God's calamities start to increase. And you're going to see it before we go to give you a reminder of what the minister said. The future is not here for us. And what the minister, the full extent of what he actually wants to say on the future of Europe, he didn't want to say it on that media. Oh, so I leave it for him to say when he is ready. Yes, sir. But the full extent of what they do, you'd probably put your house on the market tomorrow <laughs> if you knew that. Yes, sir. So with that said, uh, brothers and sisters, you know that the council definitely don't give us no money to pay our bills no. here. Mm -hmm. You know that now, right? If you didn't know yes, before. <laughs> so with that said you know we only survive based upon your contributions and with all the money 
that has been spent and with you know everything that you have heard we're going to ask you to help to contribute you know to sustainability yes, yes because sir. we've got millions to raise going forward can I hear you, sir? Yes, yes, sir. If we're going to have freehold property, <coughs> if we're going to take it, please hold it. If we're going to have freehold property, we're going to need to get used to making sacrifices. Yes? yes sir. And sacrifice sometimes is not given what you can afford, it's given beyond what you can afford until it hurts. You understand? And as the person asking for charity, it doesn't mean I'm exempt from it. So I'm going to start with my rent money. Everybody all right? I'm going to start with my mobile money. Yes? Yes, sir. So it was more than 20. It was my mobile money. So it was 70 pounds. May I start it? I'm going to fast the clear time. I'm shopping for this. So the family said, you know, you're not hearing me. I want a big round of applause for myself. And as the receptacle comes across your person, please make a generous donation. And let's start giving round of applause until the bucket comes to us. God is great. God is great. God is great. God is great. If you didn't bring no cash with you, we'll take the diamond earrings. We'll take the diamond necklace. And we'll ensure we get the best price for it. No, Let's keep the applause going until the last step over the We usually bow our heads and cup our hands as if we're going to receive a gift. But those of you visiting with us, please assume a position of prayer that you are comfortable with. Attention prayer. In the name of the Most High, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, we pray that thee guides us amongst those whom you have guided aright. We pray that you preserve us amongst those whom you have preserved. And we pray that you befriend us amongst those whom you have befriended. And bless us with the seven thou dost grant us with and deliver us from the evil of that which thou is judged. For thy judges and none can judge against thee. Blessed art thou and highly exalted be thee above.